part of you are here back again with another video so in this video i will show you how to set up my sql work environment onto your windows pc so let's begin with this video So first, we are on the Google Air. I will show you how to download MySQL Community Server version. So first, this one. Uh, also, you will get the link in the des description. So first, you go to Google and uh, type uh, "download uh, MySQL." Okay, and on the first link, you will get. MySQL community downloads that is uh, devmysql.com click on this one the link will be given in the description below also check the steps if you forgot or if you skipped uh, if you can't get up to the video I will give the steps in the description so we are here in mysql.com in the download section my link will be brought you up to here and then you have to go through this you will get here mysql community downloads here you will get many download versions mysql community server mysql cluster mysql router mysql shell mysql workbench mysql connector mysql windows mysql em repository apt repository susc repository so we will first click on the first one community server so uh, here uh, it is the community server version download uh, section and here we will go down and here you can see select operating system it is already selected as microsoft windows uh, it is default uh, there is setup uh, to your if you are using mac they will set up to mac automatically that detects the os so here you can also personally download for other windows or other os also ubuntu is here debian is here SUS is here, Fedora is here, Linux is here, or Oracle or Solaris is here, Mac OS is here, every every uh, known OS is here. So I will download it for Microsoft Windows. And here there are two versions of this download. Two steps. One is the smaller one. It is the web best. Uh, no. So here the uh, there are three download options here here that is mysql installer for windows and other downloads don't go for other downloads just go for mysql installer that is the recommended download okay so first we will go to download page so here we are in the microsoft download installer so here it is also always selected microsoft windows and here are two in types of installer that is number one is web based and number two is offline community based number one is of smaller size it will download and in installing time it will require internet connection because it will download more files from that uh, installer and this one is the offline mode it will first only download all the data and don't need internet connection anymore you can also share this file to your friend so can he also use uh, he can also uh, use it if he doesn't have internet so i will download the second one offline mode so let's see here on the begin your download it will uh, not uh, the start up the download first it will first ask for uh, oracle login or sign up but uh, i don't need anyone anything to login or sign up to oracle web account so here is another another option that is no thanks just start my download just keep it simple okay so here it is uh, for download young option is here let's save file and the downloads you can see it is downloading it is of 314 mb not a that much big software so i will 
skip up when the downloading is finished. Okay, so the download has completed. Let me bring this file up to the desktop. Okay, so I have uh, brought up this uh, installation file into the desktop and here you can see it is the let's double tap on it and let begin with the installation process uh, it, it will take time in the first time installation so here after this uh, you will see this message uh, oracle america dot ink let's run this one installation process is being starting they're preparing to install and by the way if you are new into this channel and hearing my voice first time make sure you hit that red subscribe button and make it gray and also if this video helped you and you were successful in installing my SQL make sure you like this video that will help me please wait while we configure my sql installer community okay we are waiting so here it is uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes for the device yes it is asking for request and getting information so meanwhile let me uh, tell you if you are wondering how i got uh, this mac mouse pointers that the mac one on windows the video is on the top right corner make sure you see that too so again it is asking yes okay just time remaining 10 seconds the installer mysql installer 1.4 is gathering data so here it is the installer so there are four steps the first step is license agreement so accept this license and who reads this long license if you have time you can read click on next and here there are many set of versions that suit you case so first one is the developer default it is uh, the it is just for the developers it is the complete package of mysql server for developers and uh, you can it is the default one we will install this one only second one is the server only it is uh, it is just just a mysql server version third one is a client only it do, will not have mysql server it will have it does not have a mysql server itself so you can see it is the client version number four is the full version it will include all developer default server only client only it will include everything in it and number five will be custom you can manually select the products you would like to install on your computer i will go for the developer default I will use it for development purpose, not a client purpose or server purpose. So then I will click on next. So here you can see Microsoft MySQL for Visual Studio 1.2.8 is required. So I will select this up. Check. It is checking. Okay. So it, it says one or more product requirement has not been satisfied. These products are missing requirement and will not be installed or upgraded. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay. So in this, this is the installation procedure. In the four steps, it uh, became five. Uh, MySQL server, MySQL workbench, MySQL shell, MySQL router, connector, C++, Java, and uh, .NET, Python, MySQL documentation, samples and examples all will be installed one by one you can check the status and progress so for that just click execute let's click on execute and it is installing just uh, it will take time keep patience and this will install don't uh, do anything in between this 
if one uh, doesn't install it will fail up the process so i will just skip this one time is precious and uh, so be patient while installing in the video i am skipping this part so to make it uh, not that long video so or i will fast forward it so it starts <laughs> So the installation has completed and here it is seen you have completed completed everything is completed and checked. So next step is to click on next and here it is the product configuration nothing to do anything with this just click on next again and here you don't uh, need to do anything if you want a complex uh, cluster that is iona db cluster uh, you can select one but i don't need i will just want the standard edition just click on next and here what uh, type uh, networking you want uh, it is the development computer server computer dedicated computer i will use the development computer here it is given the port number it is uh, 3306 it will be default for everyone the, the same port number will be used so next one is to just uh, keep it as usual at as it is uh, and then click on next uh, use strong password and authentication uh, yes okay use a password and here it is you need to give a root password so i will keep it just a simple not to make it that harder if you are uh, working for any company or big uh, database handling and uh, that is a secret type that uh, you don't want to get leaked so you can give a strong password i don't want that uh, and uh, here you can uh, use also your uh, mysql uh, user id you can give your name here your, you can select your role and you can create many ids i will not uh, do that i will just click on just next and here uh, it is just as uh, some uh, standard simple account nothing custom uh, required here just uh, let it be as uh, usual at is it let's uh, uh, let it be done in the default settings and then go to again next click on the next and here it is the setup one it will uh, configure the steps writing configuration file updating windows rules adjusting windows services installation databases starting server applying security settings updating start menu link it will just check up to this check mark everything let's begin execute okay first one done updating done third one adjusting windows service done and it will complete up to in it will not take much that time i think so let's wait for a while so the main thing in this installation of any software is to just keep patient okay and uh, i have done many videos at the android studio one it takes a lot of time to install so you need to have be patient and i've also made videos on how to uh, run uh, how to create a work environment for c for c++ for android for java and for this mysql i will all put up in my playlist and it will be on the description also and i will also try to give it on the top right corner i button so the configuration for mysql server 8.0.13 was successful and click finish to continue let's finish this one uh, product configuration okay ready to configure okay ready uh, let it be as usual and just finish this one okay ready to configure click on next let's check this one okay you will need to give your root password that you have just uh, saved here and just connection is succeeded you will just check this one first and then click on next 
and here it will just configure two steps checking if there is any feature installed needed for configuration running script okay let's execute this one first one is done second one running script okay so here it is uh, the apply configuration is finished and just click on finish another uh, configuration is completed then click on next okay uh, no need to copy lock to clipboard finish here and it is uh, opening mysql shell that is javascript uh, and uh, let me close this one first i will first run the mysql command line client it is also turning up the mysql workbench you can see here it is running so while it is loading let me open command line just uh, go to your start and uh, go to m folder where it is m here it is the mysql folder and here you can see everything is there command line client my installer community shell and workbench let me open my sql command line client that will be the starting one let's give the root password and here you can see mysql is here so let us create something and just give a sample so first create a database so if uh, so let me just create for that right create database uh, anything your name let me write my name let me give it on small okay so database has been created you can see query okay one row affected let me use now my database use and database name okay so database is in use so let's uh, create a table okay so let's just create a table create then table and then table name let us give a data let's give the table name p data personal data okay and then whatever we given inside the table the so the table and table name and in the column name the first column name so let me give it a name name will be as a character i will give a space of 30 then let's give a city and then give a city a character of 10 that will be okay oh, that's up to this i will just showing a sample you will all know i will not teaching here the sql codes here i will just showing so after this create a uh, give enter you can see query is okay zero rows affected because no row is created is just a table first let's see the table structure we will write desc and then the table name uh, what is the table name p data okay so here you can see it is the table structure you can see the field name here i have given name and city type is character null yes key is null is no primary key default is none uh, and extra is just blank so let us input insert some data uh, we will write insert into p data okay so let's just uh, insert uh, into the let's just insert the uh, data into the database table so we will write oh that is the wrong one insert into p data then we will write the names where we will enter data the table names the column names we will insert inside a name and city then give a uh, enter in the next line we will write uh, values that will enter inside them inside single bracket i will write my name single bracket a uh, single bracket uh, first bracket 
and also inside a single inverted comma okay so if we are entering data into our uh, table uh, so here it is the mysql is, uh, first we will write insert into the table name and then we will write the column name and then on the second line we will give values and then we will enter inside a single inverted comma the values that will insert respectively one after the name of the columns so if it is name then i am giving the name first that is avijoy and then city and then i will giving city that is kolkata and then i will closing the bracket and giving a semicolon and you can see the query one is now affected so that is let me select star from uh, table name p data and then give a column okay so here it is the table so hope you like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel and i will upload this type of their videos uh, weekly so that was in this video hope you like this video and i will catch you up in the next video till then don't forget to hit the like and yeah that's it bye bye see ya in the next video bye bye peace